Did you know that there are over 54 countries on the continent of Africa? You might also be surprised to know that there is more to Africa than famine, conflict, and poverty. In fact, Africa is on the rise. People are coming from all over the world to Africa for its beauty, culture, business opportunities, and the people. Come on, let's go to awesome Africa. It's common knowledge that humanity began in Africa, where people are just beginning to understand how connected we still are to the culture, resources, industry, and people of that mighty continent. Awesome Africa connects us to the Africa we don't know. There is common ground on this journey to Awesome Africa. Governor Rodemi Amici sponsored the Miss Ekawa's Peace Pageant in Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. Peace has returned to the Delta, and with peace comes progress. This float recognizes the over 500 schools that have been built by the governor since 2007. His goal is to build 100 health clinics as well. Primary and secondary education is free and mandatory in River State, preparing people for the jobs the government is creating. Competitions were held in each of the 15 states that comprised the Economic Community of West African States, or ECOWAS. State winners went on to compete in the pageant. Each country has its distinctive culture and dress. Each contestant wears her native clothes and dances in her tradition. We'll see more of the pageant and reveal the winner. But first, let's meet Danielle Walker, director of the African Business Initiative at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. The African Business Initiative is a division of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, which opens doors and gives assistance to its members who want to do business in Africa. Africa's tremendous economic growth, ranging up to 9% in some countries, is due to the increased sales of commodities, services, and manufacturing. I sat down with director Danielle Walker to find out what contributes to Africa's rise and how smart companies are investing in Africa. It appears that you believe Africa is pretty awesome too. Why is Africa awesome? Absolutely. Well, I've, I was drawn to Africa because of the cultures, the diversity of people, and uh, the fact that it's been overlooked for so long um, by, by the business community. And that's changing and it's exciting to see that change and exciting to be a part of that change. Africa's rising because the education is increasing. Um, democracies all over the continent have given new opportunities for people that didn't have opportunities in the past. Uh, and I think technology has given a lot of opportunities that didn't exist uh, before now as well. What are some of the services of the U.S. Chamber African Business Initiative? Sure, you know, people have been looking at the media for so long and seeing Darfur and death, famine and disease, um, war. They look at Africa and they think of this really scary place. So part of our job here is just to help companies realize that Africa is not a scary place. It's a place um, with, you know, global citizens and you can do business there. One of the ways that we help uh, companies get a better foothold and a better understanding of a market is just introducing them to other companies that are already doing business in that marketplace and helping them um, kind of link arms and understand what 
what the challenges in those markets are because there obviously will always be challenges in any market um, and also understanding who the right people within the government are that can help you do your job. Well, I certainly thank you so much for the great work that, that you're doing because Africa is awesome and it's going to get better. Well, thank you for coming and thanks for giving me an opportunity to talk about the work we're doing here at the Chamber and, and the way that we're working with American companies to help Africa um, through economic growth rather than aid. Thank you, Danielle. And now, back to the pageant. The Peace Pageant is an opportunity for contestants to enhance their poise, grace, and educational options. Each of them spoke on the role she intends to play in bringing peace to the region. Among the outstanding presenters were Miss Liberia and Miss Nigeria. If I had a chance to meet with the president of ECOWAS, I would ask for more opportunities to be created for young people in West Africa. I think there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of drive, we're really creative and there's so much that we're willing to do, but there's hardly an avenue for us to go through. So I'd really ask for more opportunities for young people to be able to contribute to society, one where they can, they can put out their creative abilities and they can actually effect change in the nation because that's how I think peace can be built. Thank you. While the judges tallied the winner, Nigerian singer Asha sang, and the audience sang along with her. She was born in France to Nigerian parents and grew up in Lagos. She sings pop, jazz, and soul music in English, French, and Yoruba. Her style was influenced by American singer Erica Badu. Her songs are about romance and the trials of daily living. When you meet Dr. Raymond Youngblood, you can't tell by his appearance that he supplies gold to the jewelers of top entertainers. Youngblood grew up on a farm in Shreveport, Louisiana, chopping down an astounding 40 trees a day at the age of 12. He made his first timber deal with India and China while he was still in college. He recognized those countries were growing and would need wood. Now. He's like a black Indiana Jones making his way through the jungles of South America, Ghana, Liberia, and Sudan, mining gold and coal. He's the only African-American large-scale miner in a very dangerous and expensive business. Jeez, look at that. <laughs> this means there are plenty of opportunities to do business in Africa. Dr. Youngblood, a diaspora with an adventurous spirit, pioneered his fortune under challenging conditions. But it has paid off, and now he's taking his future on Africa, where the sky is the limit. We have only given you a glimpse of why Africa bears a second look. Join us again to understand why Africa is awesome. All the statistics told tell us about Africa. That Africa has future, and Africa is going to be the next growth pole in the world. So, my friends, my sisters, my brothers, friend of Africa, I don't want you to miss this opportunity. Come, you are welcome to invest in Africa, and this is the time. The time is ripe for you to invest in Africa. Welcome. <music>